to put it up, how is everybody doing today? I hope, yeah, days are going good. And your lives are going even better than that. So we're gonna be jumping into the band called Solaris with a song called The Keeper. I know nothing about it. It was just, I needed a band because I couldn't really find one that I wanted to do. And somebody gave it to me. So it could be good, it could be bad. I have no idea, mate, but still. Let's see. That just started, I know. Not even a like intro, just to straight into it, man. Oh, it's just gorgeous, actually. I love that little guitar shift, that guitar shift was needed. Alright then, so, where do we think this is going? Do we think it's going to stay like this, like, kind of peaceful, kind of symphonic-esque? Not really symphonic-esque, like, a little bit, maybe, but not really yet, like, more melodic metal so far. But, um, do we think it's going to stay like this, just, like, very peaceful? Do we think there's going to be some growl thrown in there? What do we think is going to happen? I have no idea, man. I hope that there's some growl thrown in, even just background. That would sound sick to me, man, because her voice is kind of angelic. So, with, like, angelic vocals, you kind of need... That little bit of like darkness, even if it's her doing the darkness, even if she just shifts the way she sings a little bit, that would be sick. Man. Like I love the contrasting things that really make music work so very well, especially in the darker spaces of music, like metal, for instance. So yeah, let's see. What is the song about? I see a life through a distant lens. This world of pain will never end. I am my killer, I am my slain, trapped within this presence. So yeah, it's literally about your life, it's literally about like viewing yourself because you are your killer, you do slay yourself, your body does literally die upon itself, your brain goes, your heart goes, it's just things happen. And eventually all of us will also come to our own basically murder. If you want to put it that way, because our body does literally just deteriorate its cells, break down, and we eventually do just decay. And yeah. I fall into my knees, I am begging for a sign, presented with a choice, a path, a divine, an emperor, a fate, a strength, an absolution, a path I must create. So yeah, she's like kind of trapped, she's kind of messed up within her, within her own head, within her, her own world in a sense. And trying to find a way to get out of that, trying to find a way to move on with her life, to find a new path, to go a new way for her to experience the world, to see the world, to see that it's not all just about the end, it's about how you begin to live, how you change things, how you adjust to life, how you accept decisions or face or whatever other things you want to go through it. And yeah, man, so let's go. Oh, we're going proper up the man. I don't know. I do love the voice. It's powerful, man. Like, I don't know if the band itself is going to be totally mapping, but I can appreciate, like, the talent. Does that make sense? Oh, that build of the guitar under her voice was gorgeous though. That was sick, man. Oh, 
Oh damn, man, okay. I know I'm going to be pausing a lot just because I want to like break down the story of it a little bit, man. The story is actually very interesting. I love like the philosophical journey stuff, man. It's actually kind of cool. Like there's a lot of bands that do it, that do like a lot of philosophical stuff and it's kind of fun for me to break it down. In my opinion anyway, man, but whatever. Um, holding my soul in this destiny. I must decide. Oh, please save me. I am trapped within the keeper of my mortal sin, man. Like, you get it, right? Like, she's holding in her sin. She's holding in her past. She's holding in all the bad stuff that she can only think upon. She's trapped within her own depression. Within her, her own bad thoughts. And yeah, when can I look beyond myself? It is not just me, it is everybody else. But I cannot make amends trapped in the shackles of my pretense. Yeah, the shackles of her pretenses, like the things she did in the past. Like, she's shackled by past decisions. And she can't move on past that point. Like, she has to be able to look beyond herself. She needs to be able to get away from that. To find a new way to, to allow her body, her mind, her state to just push forward. Otherwise, she's going to die shackled. Or at least... I, or at least break down shackled in some kind of way, you get what I mean, right? I must decide the duality inside of me, the clouds pass by my imagination, holding onto the fabric of time, the keeper of lights. Yeah, like the duality inside of her, she's like, like the duality between the, the bad and wanting to move on and do other things at the same time. It's like a double-edged sword where you can't quite like... Um, get free of it and you want to get free of it even if you do there's always a part of you that's going to try to hold you back but it's just what part of your brain you listen to at the end of the day Alright man, so no time man, I guess. This sounds like turning into a breakdown to me man, but whatever. Oh yeah, it is, that's a little bit of a breakdown. Not really, kind of. More like a darker twist. Which is definitely what the song needed to be fair with you, but still. I know, to me it feels like the band kinda play the same riff maybe like a couple of seconds longer than they should. It's kinda what makes the song feel stretched to me, in a way. But whatever. Like, there's no denying there's a lot of talent in this band. It's just where it's placed, man. Some things feel off, some things feel amazing with it. It just depends. Her vocals are the winner of this whole thing, though. Her vocals sell it, thankfully. Yeah. So, guitar players are like a genius, though. Don't get me wrong, man. Like, he's a literal good player, though. Like, I'm not going to deny the band are amazing. Just need to, like, to make it go stretch. Oh, okay, I get it, man. I think I got it. I'm gonna let the song end in just a moment, man. Don't get me wrong, but... Let's see, um... Just this bit, this is the bit that really gets you, man. To the sound of my heartbeat fading through the rain as my tears are falling. As the love of my life is calling, my soul is crumbling now. So, yeah, so it's almost like she lost... Someone very clear. Clear? Very dear to her. Or very, or at least very close, and it crum, it crumbled. Like because sometimes when relationships end, I think we've all been through this. Really, like we blame ourselves, and I don't know why. It's just a part of who we are. It's a part of what we do. It's literally just like how we are as humans. We think it's our fault, whereas in actuality or reality, it is most likely not. And it's a mixture of both parties doing 
whatever and some things work some things don't it's just like some things like things generally don't last forever it's not really a thing that can exist in the world like that's why things like marriages have to involve compromise otherwise they'll never work even with normal relationships man if you don't compromise if you just try to stay true to every single part of everything then you're going to push something away and it's going to break something in the process of it all and you get the idea right then uh with the, with the weight upon my shoulders destiny i can't arrive from as my fire is burning stronger the pressure within my heart so yeah she felt like she was crumbling she was going but now she's starting to get stronger now she's starting to physically just go further man trying to push back into her life you know what screw what destiny thinks screw what fate thinks man we are just going to do this man we're going to literally pressure and burn brighter and burn hotter and just break back into this life man we're going to exist because not letting any singular event or thing or mind or mental thing ever going to bring us down, man. So, yeah. Let's go. I do love the way this is written, though. The, like, the way it's written is gorgeous, man. I love the writing. The writing's my, the writing's my favourite. Then her vocals. Then everything else, so. Yeah, man. I wasn't sure whether I would like it, but it's growing on me. I think also, like I've said a lot of times, man, YouTube, generally speaking, is like a, it makes everything sound about 20% worse. So imagine if I listened to this on Spotify, it would sound 20% better. If that makes sense. But this was a good start, man. This was a sick way to literally um, do this. I know which has got like a featuring Vicky uh, Sakaris. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. But, you know, the new The Agnes singer. Like, that's so cool. I so got to check that out one day. Um, That was sick, man. That was, like, way better than I expected. Like, beautifully written, man. Her voice is gorgeous. And, like, the song felt stretched a little bit. But, like, all in all, I liked it. It was good. It was decent, man. It was well worth listening to. I want to listen to more. I want to see what other songs I have, how they've evolved, how they change over time. And to see if they can become more and more closer to what I want from the band. Rather than, like... I don't know for me specifically, but I mean, like, you know, like, to, like, fix those little bits, those things where it feels like it's stretching in places, and just to make it, like, one fluent movement throughout the entirety of the music, and that would literally, like, be perfect. The band would be amazing then, and there'd be, like, a force to be reckoned with, in my opinion, but still, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Fire is burning stronger.